Chris, give me your hand. Why? I'm about to use a special piece of medical equipment on you, and I can only do this because I'm a doctor. Why do I feel nervous? Ouch! You've drawn blood! Is this really necessary? Now, don't try anything like this at home. And I'm only tolerating it because Zahn is a trained medical professional and he's using some piece of proper scientific equipment. Now, the reason I pierced Chris's skin was to show you how blood is absolutely everywhere inside your body. It's true that while it did hurt, the hole actually couldn't be any smaller. Blood still came out. Our bodies are filled with five litres of blood and it flows through an incredible network of tiny vessels. As you'll know, if you've ever cut yourself on paper, even the tiniest cut draws blood. That's because blood vessels are everywhere in your body. You have about 60,000 miles of them, enough to go around the planet nearly two and a half times. Now, Zahn, wait here. Give me your hand. Now, I want you to take the end of this piece of string, start walking, and keep walking. Now, the string that Zand is holding represents the blood vessels in just one part of your body. So, do you think that all this string represents the amount of blood vessels in A, your arm, B, your hand, or C, just your fingertip? The answer is C. Amazingly, all this string is the same length as the blood vessels in just one fingertip. Your fingertip is only about one centimetre long, but the blood vessels inside it measure a thousand metres. So, that's how long this string is, and I suppose, by now, how far away is on this? Chris? Chris? I suppose better get him back. So, there are thousands of blood vessels in your body, carrying blood to and from the heart to keep everything working. And you have two types, arteries and veins. So take a look at this. It's a device that doctors use for spotting veins, and it has a special infrared light. Chris, meet my veins. Look at that. Cool, that really is good. I mean, you can see Zahn's veins in all their glory. And the job of those veins is to carry your blood back to your heart. Now, your other blood vessels are your arteries, and they take blood from your heart to your muscles and organs. This is a piece of skin from a pig. It might look disgusting, but we're showing it to you because it has arteries in it, just like yours. They're thick, and they're tough and elastic, and they're very strong. Now, next to them are the veins, but they're much harder to see, they're much smaller, and they're much floppier. Now, the reason the arteries are so strong is because blood is pushed out from the heart very high pressure, but the whole system relies on blood vessels being nice and clear. Like roads, they work better when they're not blocked with traffic. And to show you what happens when arteries are blocked, I've enlisted the help of some of my friends.